No bother with those fingers, my friend. Hey, how are you, Neil? I'm good, my man. I, always love, see I just love seeing that guitar. It has travelled a long time with you, hasn't it? Yeah, I'm getting, I'm getting better on the guitar, man. I'm uh, getting the hang of it. No, and, and it, it takes about the first 20 years or the hardest. But, <laughs> but you start getting sweet then in the end. Before you're brilliant or what. But were you ever tempted to change it? Because, uh, it's, I mean, no disrespect, but you could do if you wanted it, but you've stuck with it. Same one. Yeah, this is a lovely guitar. It's uh, Manuel Rodriguez e Hijos which means and sons. He's a luthier <laughs> from Madrid in España. So it's Spanish guitar. They're very sweet, you know. Beautiful sound, though. Is that what the reason why I love it so much? It's Spanish. It's. I think there's something kind of um, romantic and yeah. beautiful about the Spanish guitar. Yeah. I think they invented the guitar, actually. The guitar yeah. comes from Spain. Yeah. It's gorgeous. Thank you so much. Beautiful sound. Well done. Why the book, John? Why the book? I mean, um, well, isn't well, as if you were book? busy. Yeah. Why, why not? Well, I was uh, getting to train from Cork to Dublin um, about, I'd say, 10 or 12 years ago and I met Con Collins of the Collins Press and he said you should write a book and I said oh thank you very much how lovely you know he's a publisher like you know a very respectable uh, publishing house so I was thinking what kind of a book will I write and I suppose then I said a, a book of lyrics and uh, so I've written 200 songs and I thought it would be nice to write them down and have a look at them and see how they'd look you know as a, you know as a lyric yeah. you know as poetry yeah. or as just for lyrics Correct. without the tune yeah, yeah. So that's, what's, that's what happened. But then they were saying, give us the story behind the song. So I threw in a few stories and they wanted more stories and more stories. So it, it turned into a book of um, songs So we have stories. the lyrics and we have the stories that go with the lyrics. Now, I only got a copy of the book yesterday, so I didn't get much time to look at it, but I did read some of the stories. And one of the ones that I went straight to, because we flick through things, don't we, was Princess Street. Yeah, well, Princess Street is the oldest song, because I think I wrote it in 1983, which is 33 years ago. Short pants then, clearly. Yeah, you know what I mean? So, um, um, yeah, Princess Street was the first street in Cork that they pedestrianised, and um, we used to busk in it, myself and my buddies, and we used to play guitar and sing songs. Is like Stargazers or pre-Stargazers? Pre-Stargazers, really. I'm talking about 1982 or 83. For a few bob, like? For a few bob, yeah. 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 I mean, I didn't do much busking, but I did some, you know. And yeah. So Princess Street was the place to busk. And in fact, there was a band called Princess Street, which grew out of um, a busking group that started that's there right. as well. That's right. So, yeah, so that's, that was my first song, and uh, it's the oldest surviving one. Like, Yeah. And you fell in love with it because you say in the book that you used to enjoy walking up Patrick's Hill and looking down into the city, and particularly in sunshine, and it kind of inspired the lyrics, didn't it? Absolutely. Absolutely, and I was in Strawberry Hill and... Um, Strawberry Hill, my yeah, yeah. apologies. Oh, no, you're grand, yeah, yeah. but uh, same thing, like. Yeah. But, um, yeah, I mean, Strawberry Hill is such a lovely um, name. Yeah. And um, it's also a fabulous place. Yeah. yeah. You know, it's a beautiful part of Cork, like mm. Sun- Strawberry Hill and Sunday as well, mm. the Shaky Bridge all down there. So there's a marvellous tribute in the book from Christie, isn't there? He says, John Spillane is my favourite songwriter, full stop. Unbelievable! How does that make you feel? Unbelievable! It makes me feel good, man. It makes me feel great. He's been at that. For, he's been at that for a while now. He tickles my belly like a little puppy dog, and I turn into a, I go I turn into a kind of a, into this kind of ecstasy thing. He gives me fierce um, claw moss altogether. Like. Well, he well he would do because he's got to cover your songs and he's got to sing them. Oh yeah, well he's um, he's been extremely good to me and hugely positive. And I've I've been loving Christie's stuff since I was a teenager, you know. Um, so um, he's after doing another one of my songs on his new album, which is called Lily, which was released in April, and the song is called The Ballad of Patrick Murphy, and. Um, it's another great version, you know? Yeah, yeah. Actually, you know, the last time I saw you um, was on television and you were doing some great stuff for T.G. Cahar. And actually, in fact, one of the episodes that I really loved was when you went down to Moby Dixon Yall. What well, a right. And you did a session and you sang the sea shanties with the lads, you wrote a song and you pulled a few pints. Do you enjoy television like that? Well, I, well, I do because I'm working with a lovely company called Forefront Productions. They're from Douglas Cork. And it's Joe McCarthy and Tony McCarthy, and they kind of put together. They see me and what I'm at, so they put together the situation around that. Yeah. So um, I think it's great to see you doing that because it's great to have Cork people doing it. You're doing your stuff, and Creedon is doing his. Yeah. So we're good at that kind of thing. We're good at that kind of thing, and sure, you know, we talk to anyone. That's right. A prince or a pauper. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. it's great fun going around. Sure, I'd be going around anyway, like gigging, like. So you might so, as well bring a camera with you. Well, yeah, and you know, and. Uh, I don't know. A gig is a gig. But for me, it's nice to do different things. You know, you're instead of gigging all the time, like, so there's writing a book, there's doing a bit of work for T.G. Cahar, yeah. there's the Irish language stuff, there's a bit of this and a bit yeah, of that, yeah, gigs yeah. in schools. Yeah. A few different pots on the You're on doing the as much as you want. 
Ah, uh, yeah. Sure, it's great pleasure to be um, doing something you love. Yeah, exactly. Now you got the book. You got the book launch, which is invite only. I know that. But Conal's gonna. Conal Creedon's gonna do that for you. Yeah, Conal Creedon is a great writer, and um, he's very well spoken. He's a great man to launch something. He's a great raconteur, isn't he? He is. He's got yeah, a great way. He's with great words. way about him, and yeah. uh, he's very cork as well. Yeah. And are you going to do a signing, or is the book on sale now, or where are we at with all of that? The book is actually in the shops already yeah, for the last week or so. And uh, Eason's and Waterstones and Russell's actually are very good. You know, Russell's is a great, great shop for local um, Cork stuff, as you know. Yeah. So, yeah. So Some great photographs as well. Is that a mullet, your hair? Is it a mullet? You're a, yeah, I suppose if you call back, it a mullet, I don't care, man. Back, back yeah. in the day. Was that, <laughs> that, that was in the Stargazers' days, you wore tuxedos. Yeah, we were a three-piece um, jazzy outfit. We had tuxedos and dicky bows, and we sang three-part harmony jazzy stuff. You did. And we were, we were a rockin' band. You were a rockin' band, and you also did Princess Street, didn't you? We did, a version okay. of Princess Street. It was a single um, on Salon Records in 1989. And it got a lot of radio play at that time. And That's right. It got a lot of attention yeah. and it was... We're going to have a, a little eight to do it to play us right. out. Yeah, thanks, John Spillan, the man who signed to the same label as the Beatles, ladies and gentlemen. Happy days in the hit factory. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, now we're going to the Princess Street tuning. Lovely. <laughs> Strawberry <laughs> Hill, here we come. Thanks a million, Neil, and thanks for all your support. You're the great. You've always been a great old Let me, We'll go out on this song, guys, and I'm going to give away a couple of signed copies, so get dialing on that, one 104 106 Books available where all good books are sold, but in particular in Liam Rushales. The Neil Prenderville Show. With Nissan, you'll never look back with our pioneering innovation behind you. Red FM.